here's the first way to draw a cube. I'm going to start as usual by creating sort of um, like a space for my cube to live in. I'm going to start with a straight line. Oh, I got to pick a background color. Uh, I'm trying to think of one that I haven't done before. I'm starting to run out of ideas, aren't I? Mm, yeah, we'll go with pink. Okay, so straight line across. I think I'm going to make the tabletop. Oh, don't do pink and purple. Uh, I'm going to make the tabletop orange. So a straight line across. Okay, so I'm going to fill under this. I want it to be a, you know, like a gradation, like an ombre, so lighter at the top, a little darker at the bottom. Um, and I'm going to pick my color. I want it to be that orange and hopefully it will fill correctly. If it doesn't, I don't know why this keeps happening to be honest, but I know how to fix it. Uh, hmm, well, <laughs> it worked last time. Okay, there we go. Uh, all right. So I'm going to move it so that this dot is above my horizon line. This one is below. So now I've got a gradation. I want this color at the top to be my orange. So I'm going to pick that one and I'm going to say, please make it this color. I'm going to hold my breath this time. There we go. Okay. So it's orange. And then down here at the bottom, I want a darker color so I could make it like just a darker version of the orange if I wanted to, which will end up being kind of like a brown. Um, or I could make the shade color, I could make it like red. I think red would be prettier than brown. Okay, so I've got a lighter color at the top of my table, a darker color at the bottom. Now I'm going to add my little lamp. I'm going to make it a light yellow, as usual. Um, if you wanted to make it a table lamp, you also could do that. Let's do that, actually. So my lamp is going to be right here this time. Before I move on, I'm going to make a copy of this because I'm going to be doing two cubes and I don't want to have to set up this whole little background again. So I'm going to go back out to the gallery and I've saved my sketch already. And then I'm going to click on the one that I want. Uh, okay, I'm going to have the one that I want and I'm going to click duplicate. So now I've got a couple that I can do the same setup for a couple. Now I'm going to draw my cube. I'm going to outline my cube in black. You would not have to do that necessarily, but it's easier for me to show you what it should look like doing it this way. I may do a, um, like a demonstration later where I show you how to do it without having a black outline on things, but for now we're just going to go with it. So I'm going to draw <clears throat> a square, and this is in a new layer. This is important. This is like the 15th time I've done this video because <laughs> I did it all in one layer, and that is not going to work for us. Um, so now I'm going to, actually I need this to be a little smaller. Okay. So I'm going to draw a line that comes diagonally from this corner. <clears throat> now my goal with the next couple, I'm going to do one here, one here, upper left, lower right. Um, I want this to be the same size and same angle as this one. Ah, that's not quite in the corner. That's, ah, that's not quite in the corner either. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is like the day of like a million outtakes. Okay, we're going to go with that. And if I need to erase a little bit off, that's okay. So my goal is that I want each one of these to be at the same angle. I don't want them to be at different angles um, and they should be the same length. If they're not, I'm going to show you how to deal with it because I can tell this one's just a smidgen longer than the others. So now I'm going to make my back edge. That's going to be a horizontal line that's parallel to these two. I'm going to start here and I'm going to eyeball it till it looks like it's straight. Okay. And I can see that when I'm making sure that things are all parallel, I got that little extra bit popping out, that's okay. 
Same thing with this one. I want this to be, this side should be parallel to these lines. So everything on your cube is parallel to something. The diagonals are all parallel to each other. They're not at different angles. Um, the horizontals are all parallel to each other and the verticals are all parallel to each other. That's how you know you've done it properly. Next, I'm adding a new layer. Don't forget to do that, trust me. And I'm gonna switch to my lasso tool. I'm gonna make my cube a nice bright green. So let's adjust something cool. Let's do like a blue green. Ooh, that's gonna be pretty. Okay, so um, the face that is closest to the lamp is this one. It's going to be my light color. The top will be either a medium or a dark and the front will be either a medium or a dark. It just kind of, you gotta have three values. This one is definitely the lightest. The other two, it's kind of negotiable what values you put on them. So I'm gonna start by outlining my face. I'm gonna just double check that I'm in a new layer. Okay, and I want it to be a light version of that color. So I'm gonna go a little lighter. Finally, I'm going to do my darkest value on the front face. So I'm noticing I need to add a cast shadow behind my cube, but it's just a little bit big right now. So I've merged together my layers so that my outline and my color layers are all together in one layer. And now I'm going to click on, and I can just kind of pinch and make it a little bit smaller. So now I'm gonna add a new layer <clears throat> and I'm gonna add my cast shadow. I want to make sure the color is the color of the table, not the color of the cube, because a green cube does not cast a green shadow. A green cube casts a shadow the color of whatever the color of the table is. Okay, so I'm going to draw a straight line coming out the back, like so. And then I'm going to go at a little bit of an angle, like so. Okay, and... I'm just gonna connect these so I can fill it. Oh, that didn't even do it, did it? Um, you won't actually see this little bit. Okay, that looks like it's enough of a contrast for it to be darker. If I wanted, I could try to make it a little darker, but let's see how this looks. Okay, and then we need to put it so that is behind the cube, and now we have a cast shadow.